What if I told you that your body doesn't care about your dream physique? It doesn't care if you want that chiseled six-pack or sculpted arms. It doesn't even care how hard you've been training. Because when you're in a calorie deficit, when you're trying to lose fat, your body enters survival mode. And in survival mode, muscle becomes optional. That's right. If you don't play it smart, your body is just as likely to burn muscle as it is to burn fat. That's the brutal truth of cutting. And that's exactly why this video matters. Too many people start a fat loss phase thinking they're going to emerge shredded, defined, lean. But what really happens? They drop weight on the scale, sure. But they also lose muscle, strength, and performance. Their hard-earned gains, gone. All that time under the bar, all those reps, all that effort, it can disappear in a matter of weeks. But it doesn't have to. There is a smarter way to cut. A way that burns fat while preserving every ounce of lean muscle. A way that leaves you looking stronger, more defined, more athletic, not just skinny. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's start with a mindset shift. Cutting is not just about eating less. It's not just about creating a calorie deficit. Yes, being in a deficit is essential for fat loss. There's no way around that. But the goal isn't just weight loss. The goal is fat loss. And that's a massive difference. Weight loss is easy. Skip meals, overdo cardio, drop your calories super low, you'll lose weight fast. But that kind of approach also costs you muscle. Why? Because muscle is metabolically expensive. Your body sees it as an energy drain when food is scarce. So if you crash diet or overtrain without the right strategy, your body will gladly use muscle tissue as fuel. That's exactly what we want to avoid. So how do we protect muscle while in a deficit? It starts with training. Resistance training during a cut is not optional. It's essential. When you're eating fewer calories, your body is constantly trying to downregulate. It wants to slow your metabolism. It wants to conserve energy. The way to fight back? Keep lifting heavy. Keep training hard. Your muscles need a reason to stay. And that reason is tension, load, volume, effort. You don't have to PR every week, but you do need to send a clear message to your body. These muscles are still needed. So don't drop the weights. Don't switch to endless cardio sessions thinking it'll make you leaner. Cardio can be a helpful tool, but your foundation should always be resistance training. That's what tells your body, hey, this muscle is valuable. Don't burn it. Now let's talk nutrition. When cutting, protein is your best friend. Think of it like armor for your muscles. You want to eat enough protein daily to protect your lean mass. The general rule? Around 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. Some people go slightly higher, especially when they're deep into a cut. Protein is not just about muscle retention, it also helps with satiety. It keeps you fuller longer, which is key when calories are low. So fill your meals with lean meats, eggs, Greek yogurt, protein powders, legumes, whatever works for you. Hit your target consistently. But here's something most people don't think about. Your deficit should be moderate, not extreme. The bigger the deficit, the higher the risk of muscle loss. Sure, it's tempting to slash calories and lose weight fast. But fast isn't always better. It's about sustainability and muscle retention. A deficit of around 15 to 25% below maintenance is a good place to start. That gives your body enough energy to recover from training while still encouraging fat loss. And yes, it'll take longer, but you'll look and feel better. You'll hold on to strength, you'll preserve muscle, and the end result will be a physique that looks fit, not flat. If you find this video helpful and informative, please support the Healthy Pantry channel by leaving your comment below liking this video, and subscribing for more daily health and nutrition tips. Recovery is another huge factor. Cutting isn't just about what you do in the gym or the kitchen. It's about how you recover. Sleep is where your body repairs and regenerates. When you're in a deficit, recovery is already compromised. If you're not getting enough sleep, you're digging the hole even deeper. Poor sleep increases cortisol, lowers testosterone, and messes with your hunger hormones. That makes you more likely to overeat, lose muscle, and feel like crap. 
So prioritize quality sleep. 7 to 9 hours. Every night. No exceptions. And while we're talking about hormones, let's not forget stress. High stress levels can make cutting way harder than it needs to be. Cortisol, the stress hormone, breaks down muscle and encourages fat storage, especially around the midsection. So manage your stress. Meditate, go for walks, spend time away from screens, laugh, unplug, breathe. Your body is a complex machine, and when you're cutting, every system matters. So let's put this all together. You want to cut fat and keep muscle? Here's the strategy in plain English. Train hard. Lift weights. Don't stop just because you're cutting. Eat enough protein consistently. Don't crash your calories. Keep your deficit reasonable. Prioritize sleep. Manage stress. And track your progress. Not just on the scale, but in the mirror, in the gym, and how you feel. Because muscle retention isn't just about aesthetics. It's about strength, health, and long-term success. And here's something else. Don't be afraid to reverse course. If you're feeling depleted, flat, constantly tired, losing strength week after week, you might need a diet break. A temporary return to maintenance can help your body recover and reset. It's not quitting, it's strategic. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Think long-term. The truth is, anyone can lose weight. But not everyone can lose fat while keeping muscle. That takes knowledge. That takes discipline. That takes patience. So the next time someone tells you to just eat less and move more, remember, there's a smarter way. A better way. Burn fat. Not muscle. Train like an athlete. Eat like you care about performance. Rest like you respect your recovery. And watch what happens. Because the body you want, it's not built by starving. It's built by strategy. Let's get shredded, let's get strong, and let's do it the right way. Thank you for joining us here at The Healthy Pantry. We hope you found the information valuable and inspiring. Remember your health is a journey, and we are here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.